Your hand. Doesn't that mean I'm on? Yeah. Are you sure? What's this? <laughs> this is a video about installing a, send, a fuel sending unit into a 69 Mustang. Here we go, guys. Why are you nodding your head? Yeah, you're nodding your head? That was good? Cut. Good. Take the frustration out of restoration. Here it is, Bob's 1969 Mustang GT Convertible. Yeah, surface rust? Really? On? Yeah. All right. You might have to shimmy. Your, you might have to shimmy around. Shimmy, shimmy. I'm on medication, guys. Today, I'm taking Dayquil, and I feel real good about it. <laughs> so I might be a little silly on the videos today. So forgive me. This is the bottom of a gas tank. A 1969 Mustang, brand new for Bob Marshall. This is grease. I'm taking the grease, and the reason I'm using the grease is I'm putting it here to hold this little rubber seal. Very important. So what happens is that the, the grease goes in here, it will dissolve in the gas, no issues. And what it does is it serves to hold the rubber seal in place. I gotta, I gotta get some glasses, man. My eyes are getting worse and worse. So getting tight on this, Carlos, with not as, not much mo movement, and there it is. And I'm placing the seal in there. Now the rubber is in place where it should be. You want to make sure it's all there. There it is. You don't need anything more except just grease and a rubber seal. So now I know it's in place. I'm secure that this thing is not going to leak fuel. Clean them up my hands. Here's the fuel sending unit. The, the, this is the first filtering of your car. It filters through this screen. This little float right here is what tells your fuel set, this is the fuel sending unit, it tells you whether you're full or empty on gas. It only goes in one way because it's got these two little teeth on it. You can't put it in the wrong way, which is good because if it's the wrong way, it won't work. There's two little teeth right there, see them? One right here and one right here. They match one right here, one right here. So I'm going to carefully position it in, not getting it messed up like so. And now it's in the gas tank, still carefully working it in. And now I'm lining up the teeth. Here we go. Man, I got an annoying fly bothering me. And here it goes, placing it in. All right, it took about 10 minutes and then finally it just settled in so easily. Man. Cut. What's really funny is that I said cut and then all of a sudden it just like dropped right in. I just had to hit the sweet spot. It's inside those two teeth, it's wrapped around. This little ring is what secures it. All this is brand new and I know it makes Bob happy. I think I'm bleeding too, I'm bleeding for this car, Bob. And there it is, there's the cuff. So now she's held in place. And those two teeth won't allow you to make the sending unit go any other direction. So we know it's in place. Now I'm taking a, a hammer and a screwdriver and I'm securing it in by tapping it like that. Very patiently, you tap it all the way around. Alright, so now I'm securing it all nice and snug. It's not going to go anywhere. And I'm happy with it, Bob. There it is. <coughs> That's how you install a fuel sending unit. Next video is going to be us putting the gas tank in. This is your drain plug. This is the upside down view of a drain plug on a 69 fuel sending unit. Now we're ready to seal her in. Bottom of your floor on a 69. Next. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration.
please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com <laughs>